watching Caffeine and Pixie Dust. Have a wonderful day. Hello and welcome back to Caffeine and Pixie Dust. And welcome to another episode in our Sense of Disney playlist. Now please do not adjust your set. I am fully aware that I'm looking very, very festive for this time of year. At time of recording, it is a beautiful autumnal day. There are leaves to be crunched on the ground, there are pumpkins to be carved, and there are pumpkin spice lattes to be drunk. However, I can also see in the distance glimmering at the festive season which will be upon us before we know it. And there's something in me at the start of November, although I love autumn, Halloween, all those lovely kind of scents and things that you get at that time of year, there's something in me that at the, at the start of November, I need to get some Christmas scents going around the house. Now, don't worry, I'm not about to put my Christmas tree up on like the 1st of November, although no judgment if you do. Um, the minute this video has finished recording, this Christmassy jumper and my beautiful Christmassy ears from Lily Boo Bows will be popped away until we're a little bit closer to Christmas and a few of these crazy fairy lights that I put everywhere might be taken down. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a Christmassy video so that we're ready to hit the ground running. And I love, love, love Disney scents. I love kind of scents that are inspired by Disney. So if you're kind of in between Disney holidays or you've just got back, or if you just need some Disney magic in your day, you can pop on a Disney candle or give a quick Disney scent a spritz around the room and be just transported back to happy memories strolling down Main Street. Now, if you've watched the previous video in this series, you'll know that it was all about Halloween, and Maple and Whiskey very, very kindly sent me a little bundle of goodies to share with you all, to review and sort of let you know what I think of them. And so in the previous video, it was Halloween-y smells, but in this video, it's Christmas smells. So I've got three lovely Christmas scents that they very kindly sent me to share with you. And I also have an interloper because this is one of my Christmas scents that I bought from them last year. Because all of the other scents that I've featured in the videos, apart from the Halloween one and this one, have all been purchased myself, um, but these are ones that they have very kindly sent me to just have a bit of a sniff and a review. And they've also very kindly sent me a discount code to share with you all as well. So I will put the discount code in the show notes below, but if you see or rather like the sound of any of the scents that I'm talking about here, please do go and have a quick look on the Maple and Whiskey Candle Company Etsy page because you can have a look on there. There's lots of seasonal smells and lots of classic Disney inspired smells, um, but on every purchase over £10, if you enter this code, you'll get 10% off, which every bit helps doesn't it really at this time of year when we're saving up for Christmas and it might mean you can buy some more for yourself so um yes I will pop that down below and just to let you know they create a whole host of different scented products so they make candles which they do with both the sort of traditional cotton wick but also the wood wick they do room sprays which as I've mentioned I'd probably wear as a perfume because I'm a bit Disney crazy <laughs> I'll probably be spritzing around the room and they'd be like oh just a bit um, and they also do like um, sort of diffusers as well which I'm getting into so I might be trying one of those soon I think but I'm going to be talking about these scented wax melts the reason I love these is because although I love having like the cosy glow of a candle flickering of an evening. I'm also aware that I've got a loon of a cat who will run around and knock things over. So I really like to have scented wax melts and use like a plug-in warmer like this. Sorry, it's the same one that I've had in all the videos, but it's always one that's in here, so I must mix it up a bit. But no, you pop off one of these cubes and then put it in the warmer and it will just make your room smell absolutely delicious. So without waffling on anymore, I'm going to crack on and show you these lovely scents. So the first one I have to show you, oh, one thing I will say, I am gonna do something a bit bizarre as well, which <laughs> if you haven't watched any of my other videos on this, you'll think, what's she doing? I'm actually gonna rub the wax when I open it because I always feel like if you open it and take a sniff, you're getting a lovely hit of the scent, but you're not really giving it its true kind of review as it were, because the scent will of course be warmed when it's in your electric warmer, when it's in your tea light warmer, when it's a candle that's being burned, you will get that scent stronger. So I always give it a bit of a rub to really Give it its due. So this first one I'm about to pop open without even showing you is Gingerbread House by Maple and Whiskey. There you go. And if you've watched any of my vlogs, you'll know that I am addicted to gingerbread and gingerbread latte. I drink gingerbread lattes all year round. So I'm really looking forward to warming this and giving it a go because it's gonna be lovely. So I'm gonna give this a rub now. There we go. That is so yummy. <laughs> we have another sniff. Sorry, it was probably really loud sniffing. Oh, that's yum. So that is like 
chewy gingerbread cookies. In fact, it even looks like you could just put some white icing on there and have a great big bite. Don't, it is wax, but it does look like it because it's the perfect colour. So that has got ginger, a lovely spicy ginger, and then it's got kind of cinnamon and vanilla, maybe a little teeny bit of cloves in the background. It's that perfect gingerbread baking scent. And not too sweet. I like that it's kind of got a kind of spicy gingerbread scent to it as well. In fact, bear with me on this. You know those little um, chewy cookies that are sort of little cakey cookies? I think they're called Liebkuchen. Liebkuchen, Liebkuchen. And sometimes they're covered in um, like a white coating or a cho dark chocolate. That's what that smells like. It's a very specific chewy gingerbread smell. And it's really, really lovely. That would be beautiful to have all over the house, especially kind of when you're coming up to Christmas and you just want those lovely cozy smells so that when you welcome guests in or, you know, kind of when you're sat snuggling up watching a Christmassy movie, you can have a candle with this scent going and it's just really, really warming and welcoming and cozy. This would be perfect. So I'd say I'd have this in the hallway and maybe any kind of shared living space like the front room, something like that. That would be yummy. So gingerbread house is definitely a hit with me oh and I'm guessing gingerbread house the relevance of that um, although I haven't seen it up close because it was boarded up when we were there in November in the Disneyland Hotel they make a giant gingerbread house every year and I believe they do this at the Grand Floridian as well and it's beautiful the pictures I've seen online it's all properly baked and iced and it's real gingerbread but it fills the foyer with this beautiful gingerbready smell so I'm guessing that's the link there but no I definitely recommend gingerbread house especially if you like that kind of bakery cozy smell now staying on with that kind of cozy spicy home scent we've got a lovely one here called mrs claus pantry i'll put it in front of my face so you can see it there we go and it's a lovely color it's kind of a oh like a deep conquery kind of red like a cranberry almost but it's a lovely lovely red right, let's give this a rub Mmm, that's delicious. That is nice. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely kind of spicy, fruity smell. So you can definitely kind of get like a baked fruit smell, like a baked apple or baked pear in there with cinnamon. But there's like deep, dark fruits in there as well. So it's almost like, <laughs> I'm going to create some ridiculous scene. But you know, like you've got some great big copper sort of pan with mulled wine that you're stirring for guests. And you've got like slices of apple and orange and cranberries floating in it. That's how this smells. So that kind of simmering, Christmassy mulled fruit, maybe Christmas cake baking kind of scent. But it's not like poof between the eyes, headachey strong. It's a lovely kind of cozy scent that you can imagine would just, you know, you'd open the front door and your guests or visiting friends would just be like, oh, something yummy is being created. In which case you might need to go and get some mince pies because otherwise they'll see right through you. <laughs> but that is a lovely, lovely smell. And it really does smell like a Christmas pantry. All those Christmassy spices and dark fruits. That is a definite winner. I really like that, Mrs. Claus Pantry. And who doesn't aspire to be like Mrs. Claus at Christmas, let's be honest. So here we go. This is the next one, which is a beautiful purple colour. This is Holiday Wishes. We zoomed in there? Yeah, I think we have. There we go. And this is a lovely purple colour. I always really adore the colours they do at Maple and Whiskey Candle Company. They're always like jewel colours, really deep, strong colours. And that's really nice. Very satisfying when you're popping a cube out of the packet. So I'm giving this a rub, but I can smell it already because it is a beautiful smell and it's a smell that I love, which is peppermint and like candy canes and all things Christmassy. That is so delicious. I just want to eat it. Oh, wow. You know when you're just crunching into great big candy canes, that lovely sweet menthol -y peppermint smell, true peppermint smell. That's what this is like because I've, you know, there's other sort of pepperminty smells that are maybe peppermint vanilla that are softer, which are lovely to have around the house. But I really, really love this cold, fresh peppermint smell because the vanilla in the background is just kind of warming it a little bit, but it's a definite cold, frosty peppermint. And I don't know how they've done it, but they really have made it sort of have this cool property to it, which is like the night air when you're outside at Christmas or sort of autumn, that time of year. But that's lovely. 
and I think that would be really nice to have as well as like in the sort of shared living areas front room that kind of stuff to have maybe upstairs on the landing or in the bedrooms because when you're falling asleep it's nice to kind of go upstairs and have a pepperminty smell around and also if there's any coughs or sneezes I reckon this peppermint kind of strong lovely peppermint smell would be really good to help people sleep a bit deeper so there we go that's holiday wishes and it's absolutely lovely and I can't wait to warm that one lovely so thank you ever so much Mabel and Whiskey for sending me these yummy yummy smells so we've got gingerbread house which is a gorgeous chewy gingerbread cookie just calling out for some white icing on perfect kind of cozy evenings and then we've got Mrs Claus pantry for the aspiring domestic goddess in us all that's a lovely kind of mulled wine Christmas cake baking type smell with some lovely fruits in the background and then holiday wishes which I think is my favourite because I love all things peppermint it's kind of like a candy cane forest that one really really yummy and I can't wait to get that one warming then we have my interloper which as you can see has been used because this is one that I bought last year and I've sort of used over Christmas and I really really love and I can't wait to warm it again and this one is days of Christmas you can see it properly there we go and it's a lovely green colour which matches the bow we like that so we always have a real Christmas tree around Christmas time. We wrestle it in and out of the house, um, much hilarity follows. But something I really love about that real Christmas tree is the real Christmas tree smell you get with it. There's nothing quite like it, apart from this. This is a beautiful, true Christmas tree scent. Now it's not like a, an artificial piney smell because there's a lot of piney smells you get at this time of year. This is a Christmas tree smell, it's lovely. I don't know how that makes it different, but it definitely does, because this has definitely got a bit more of an authentic scent to it. It's fresh but cosy. It's a Christmas tree. It's a bar of Christmas tree. There you go. That's my description. It's a lovely one to have. Maybe if you've got your Christmas tree, if it's a real one, if it doesn't quite give off the right scent, or you've got an artificial tree and you want to kind of channel the real Christmas tree smell, I really, really recommend Days of Christmas. Beautiful, festive smell. So there we go, Christmas in October, who knew? <laughs> Thank you for going with me on it. I know it's a bit random, but fairy lights are always good, aren't they? So what I'd love to know from you guys are what your favorite Christmas smells are. Have you got Christmassy scents that just evoke the festive season straight away for you? And especially if they're linked to Disney. So are you kind of like a fruity, cinnamony smell type person? Do you love these kind of pepperminty smells like me? Or like Christmas tree scents? Or are you more kind of, oh, what else would there be? Like a hot chocolate marshmallow kind of scent? Do let me know what your favorites are in the comments below because I'd love to go and have a little bit more of a brutal round the Christmas scents that are available because I do love them. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to have a look at the discount code in the show notes below to get your 10% off at Maple and Whiskey until the end of the year. But until next time, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please do leave me a festive thumbs up. I know it's really early, I'm sorry. <laughs> Share, comment, like, subscribe, all those wonderful things. And I'll see you again next time. Take care.